Peace and love, collective peace and love. Happy 4-4 portal. This is going to be our daily message for today. Welcome to my channel, everyone. You guys be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when the readings are posted. We are gonna just see what spirit has for us today. April 4th. I don't know why I was going to say August 4th. So someone could be born on August 4th or someone could be a Leo. Because I wanted to say August 4th. And I don't know why. Shuffling for the collective April 4th, 2023. Shuffling for the collective April 4th, 2023. All right, so we have the Hermit card here. We have the Wheel of Fortune card in reverse. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Chariot card. I'm going to pull one more. Bottom of the deck is the temperance card. Someone having to be patient. But I feel like with this current, with the us leading with the hermit card, I definitely feel like this is not you, collective. The magician card in reverse, okay? Yeah. Um, because we have a page of pentacles here, a court card. So I feel like this is um, someone else. I feel like someone who um you were once in a close connection with i feel like this person is going through a um awakening process this person could possibly be going through the dark night of the soul okay this person's kind of just existing they're not living okay because they don't really know i feel like this person doesn't know what they want they don't know where they're going in life they have no sense of direction whatsoever i feel like this person definitely lacks clarity okay the hermit card is the virgo card and the virgo card virgo is all about sacrifice so i feel like this person is having to make some sacrifice or this person is the sacrificial lamb, so to speak, um, for a greater purpose, okay? I feel like whatever this person did to you with the wheel of fortune in reverse or however that relationship played out, or if this is not something that they did to you, I feel like this person, because you have the magician card here in reverse and the page of pentacles, like you see this very sneaky energy. I feel like whoever this person is, this person could have Virgo highly aspected in their chart, but I feel like this person has just lived a very manipulative, sneaky life, okay? And I feel like that manipulative, sneaky attitude that this person has it has basically brought some karma on them, okay? This person with the hermit card could um, lie a lot, okay? Keep a lot of secrets, manipulate for selfish gain, okay? I feel like this person has a lot of healing to do with the hermit card, but I do feel like this person kind of ran from this healing for so long. So now this person can't run anymore because they've run, run, run. And with the will of fortune in reverse, they've run right back into themselves, okay? Um, I feel like this person is trying to penny pinch or trying to make ends meet financially. And like I said, this person is really just, they don't know what is going on in their life from one day to the next, okay? This person is like walking on a thin thread or walk, walking on thin ice, okay? This person is not happy. They're in their head a lot. Um, and I feel like meanwhile, you're moving forward and you are having some type of victory okay because this person is in the magician card in reverse they can't even manifest anything okay and they can't manifest because of their choices okay the chariot card reminds me of the choices that one makes okay so you make a choice to go out and do something and that choice is always going to come with karma whether good or bad so i feel like this person made a choice and this choice could have block someone else's manifestations okay yeah i'm definitely getting that this person is like a con artist a liar a manipulator okay and they're getting karma for that this person like cons people for money okay or for um stability okay this person can't manifest anything on their own and i feel like whatever choice this person made 
I feel like it left somebody in the um, inability to manifest energy because this person could have, you could have been depressed, okay, thinking about the, what this person did to you. And it could have just triggered a lot of deep traumas for you. And I feel like even if you wanted to, you weren't able to work, you weren't able to make money like you were supposed to, you were possibly sick, losing weight, not able to eat. So you weren't able to manifest, all right? I feel like this this person robbed you of your energy, but I feel like now, um, now that energy is being returned back to that person. You have the Four of Cups here, heavy on the Cancer energy because the Four of Cups is Cancer and the um, Chariot card is Cancer energy as well, collective. So I definitely feel like this is someone you've known for a long time. And this person triggered some deep emotional wounds within you. And it left you stuck, collective. But I feel like now you are a lot more victorious than you were, okay? I feel like you may still have some healing to do. But I feel like for the majority of you, you've done a lot of healing. And now it's this person's turn, okay? To to go through the dark night of the soul. Yeah. The fool card, okay? This person's going to be very lonely. It's, it's just going to be... The, the fool card is one foolish person on their own, one naive person on their own. This person is going to be by themselves, okay? They're not going to be able to take anybody with them. Spirit is going to strip this person from their relationships, their jobs, okay? And force this person into isolation and solitude, okay? Because this person could have ghosted you with the hermit card, okay? This person could have ghosted you and um, made false promises to you with the will of fortune in reverse, okay? Okay? I feel like you and this person had a destiny together, okay? You had a mission and a soul contract together, but this person snuck away, okay? And it left you in, in this magician in reverse card energy. So now this person has to travel a journey by themselves. They're so used to using other people to manifest. And now spirit is making this person learn how to manifest on their own, okay? This person has no independent skills, okay? This person has mother issues, okay? Yeah, six of cups. You definitely knew this person since you were younger. The eight of swords energy. This person feels trapped. This person is feeling everything they left you to feel. They left you to feel trapped and confined and um, just overwhelmed with anxiety. And now this person is in this eight of swords energy, okay? Gemini energy. This person is all in their head. Yeah, this is definitely a masculine energy, okay? This could be the mother or the father of your child. This could be an Aries, okay? But this person is being stripped of all of their material possessions with the magician card in reverse, okay? Because ghosting is a form of self-sabotage, okay? The page of wands in reverse, okay? Yeah. No good luck or good news coming in for this person. Yeah, look, the Justice card in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is the Ascension. The Justice card in reverse means no one's going to be able to step in and help this person. Okay, even if this person calls for help, Spirit is going to make sure that whoever they're calling for help um, is not able to help them. Okay, you got the Ten of Swords here. So yeah, this person is having to leave behind a lot of things for good. Okay, this person is having to change their life for good now. And it's like they can't even, they can run, but they can't hide, okay? And they can try to resist it. But the more they resist it, the more roadblocks they're going to experience in life. This person is simply being stripped, okay? This person is about to face all kinds of obstacles. Yeah. The temperance card. This person, things are going to come very slow for this person. Until they learn their lesson, they won't be able to live at live in peace or be comfortable, all right? Yeah, this is definitely the higher front card. This person lacks commitment. This is an um, older male or an older masculine figure, okay? So this person could be older than you, okay? Or they could have there could have been some type of age difference. But the higher front is a very, um, is disciplined, okay? This person has to learn some lessons. This person is about to go to the school of life. They're about to learn some lessons, yeah. Because look, they've been in that devil energy, lying, um, manipulating addictions, all of that, okay? Depression, low vibrational energy. One more card, spirit. What else can we see about this person that the collective has been dealing with? What else can we see about this person that's on the collective's mind? One more card, please.
Yep, Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Strength card in reverse. Okay, this person don't have no money. They lost their inheritance. They don't even have the strength anymore, okay? This person is in very low vibrational energy, all right? But this person is reaping what they've sown, okay? They've just gone through life being a, a negative person or a, a nasty person or a manipulative person to other people. And it's like eventually karma catches up to everyone, okay? So while you're moving on, you're trying to continue on your healing and you're being victorious with that. This person is about to go through the dark night of the soul, okay? And I feel like, like I said, this person is not going to be set free until they learn their lesson. And I feel like this person is so stubborn that this person is going to continue to try to manipulate to get their way. Because guess what? As soon as they, as soon as things are not going their way, as soon as their money starts looking funny, as soon as they are stripped of their relationships and the people that they were using, they're going to try to find somebody else to use. But guess what? It's not going to work this time, okay? And this person is just digging themselves a deeper whole all right this person has to grow up okay i'm getting that keisha cole all right this person could be a libra or dealing with the libra okay it's time to grow up peace